Friends, right out here, and welcome back to part 1 million of building a virtual pinball machine. So we got two things we got to mess with before we can really get started. I had several people point out to me that, uh, yeah, this is accelerometer is not going to work on an angle like this, so I got to take it and put it flat, and then maybe rearrange the fuse board a little bit so I can get to them all. That won't be too much, and then I'm going to have, I'm going to put these where they go under here to protect the legs. And Lunchbox is gonna use her fancy law degree to be a shelf. So here we go. All right, well, we got those on. Looks pretty good. And we did change this back to square-ish. So I made a list here of all the various things and the voltages. So basically what we got going here is these ones are your flashers and your strobe so they'll all go to here and then have an output probably a little cable uh, these are for your button rgbs they'll go to the buttons obviously your chime outputs uh, will have to go probably all the way over here i would say or they might be able to go here there's only five of them so um, high power outputs contactors will probably be these and they'll go whichever way and then we got nine ish things that we got to hook up to the other to those buttons the high power here so I'm gonna do some little creative wiring and make a Hell are they called the Molex connector? So, all I gotta do is plug it in there. I think that'll be good. Maybe I'm sure I have some that are bigger so I can have some expandability, and it's it just makes it a lot easier. So, we get to working on that, and I'm also gonna put some Molex connectors on the ends of all these input devices like this. So, it's just a simple connection. You know, you can't mix the wires up if you have to take it off for some reason. It just makes life a lot easier. So let's look at, get cracking on that. All right, this is what happens when you get carried away with Molex collector or connectors. Looks pretty good. And we, we'll test one here. Well, I tested them all, but we'll just do this. Make sure it works. We got our bell wired up. I might should have cleaned this, but it works, so who cares? This too. Got our diode on there. This was broke when I got it, unfortunately, but it still works. So I got my power supply going here. So we can test them out, see if it's gonna explode. Hook up our hot wire here. Try not to touch the leads together. I think that one works. Our bell here. I think that one works too. Alright, I'm probably going to call this one, this video right here, because honestly, it's like 4 30 and I've been doing this since like 10 or 11 so 
I want to get off my feet for a few minutes. But we did make some good progress, as you saw. We got connectors on more or less all of our toys. I didn't do these because they they keep blowing my fault protect on this. And this, for that matter. But uh, I did order some new ones that are a little less powerful. So we will see if they ever decide to show up from China. Um, if they do the same thing. But... Hopefully they won't, so we'll see. We'll hook those up when they get here. Anyway, hopefully next time we can make the Pinscape mods and get something working. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know how bad I screwed that up this time, and we'll see you later. Keep it real.